Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Logo here, and today we're here with FIFA 19. Um, the reason why we're here in FIFA 19 is because I remembered there was like the Women's World Cup in 2019, and I was like, I kind of wanted to do a Women's World Cup tournament, and um, I was like, yeah, we could do that. But the problem was that I tried to do a tournament mode because they added a load of new women's teams on FIFA 19, like Jamaica, South Korea, Nigeria, everything like that, you know, all those new teams they added back then. But you can't use them in tournament mode for some reason. It's really, really bizarre. You can't replace the women's teams with like like Nigeria or Thailand or anything like that. You can't do it. I don't know why EA restricted it. So all you can do on this game is play the FIFA Women's World Cup Final. So we're going to do two matches. We're going to do England versus United States, which is like a realistic sort of like final, I guess. And then we'll do another unrealistic match. I don't know, maybe like Thailand versus like Jamaica or something like that. I don't know, it's just a mini video just to showcase the game. Here we are then, the Women's World Cup Final, England versus the United States. I haven't played FIFA 19 for ages since obviously um, FIFA 20 came out, but um, I did remember it that they did have this mode and it is cool, but obviously like I said, you couldn't like do a tournament mode with the actual, with the actual like, like presentation, like, like with all these banners and stuff in the background, it'd just be like a custom tournament and it wouldn't be very good, so I was just like, well, why not just showcase it in one little mini video just to see you know, if people remember it, you know. They need to do this for the next Women's World Cup, I feel. They should have, like, a tournament mode where you can do it like this, where it has all the banners and everything like that. It has all the players. The, like, you know you know what I mean. And it has all the participants of the World Cup, at least. Like, you know, they should do that, you know. They did it for FIFA 18 DLC pack. So we're going to play this first final against the USA. Hopefully we can win this one. It is on world class, so I might, like, get stomped. The USA are one of the best women's teams in the game and in the world. I do remember aspects of the Women's World Cup. I remember um, Alex Morgan's uh, tea celebration. Was that in this World Cup? I feel, I'm fairly sure it was, because this was the most recent one. And um, people in England weren't happy about that. I don't know why. It was just a little bit of banter. USA controlling the game very nicely and so are we as well. Paris, this is good passing. Look at this. We're doing really well here to try and break down this defence. Here we go. Oh, just not the shot we were looking for. I know, I also know randomly that North Korea um, under 17, is it under 17s or under 21 women's team won the World Cup? Um, one of the tournaments. Oh, that was a beautiful strike by Morgan. What a hit by her. I mean, we completely messed up, but she just came in and just volleyed it straight in, and it's 1-0 in this final. Not a great start from England. The defence was poor. Good strike. Look at that. That was an excellent take by Morgan. She just came in and just smashed it. Good header away. I wish this had a tournament. Then I can actually make a proper video of it. I mean, like, technically there is a tournament. But, like, it wouldn't have all the teams, and that would just really annoy me. And the fact that it doesn't have all the presentation aspects of it. Through ball here. That's a good through ball, and a good shot, and it hits the post, and it's in. That's 1-1 one, one England of equalised. I don't know who that is that scored, because I don't really know many women's players. It's White with the goal. I love the England women's kit. It's a really nice kit, that kit, like, for England. I really like that kit. The men's kit wasn't like that. I feel like they have different designs. That kit is really nice, but they only obviously like produced it for women. They didn't produce one for men, which sucks, because it's actually a really nice kit. It's a good strike as well. Just decently struck, and it hits the post. A nice little bit of help from the post, and it's 1-1. Half-time in this sort of final... It's 1-1 between England and the USA. Can England find something or will, will USA continue their dominance in Women's World Cup? It's really cool that the women's game is um, getting more uh, recognition these days than it has been. Like I have been seeing a lot of women's uh, football being televised on TV. Like The other week I saw Chelsea versus Everton being te televised on TV and Chelsea beat Everton... I think it was like 4-0. And um, obviously as well, the Women's Champions League as well, that's being reported on a lot more. And um, I'm seeing it a lot more as well, like on BT Sport and um, 
everything like that. So it's really cool that you get to watch. It's just more football, and um, of course, more football is brilliant. Let's um, try and find some uh, players that we can use to uh, change this game. So um, we got uh, Duggan. I do know her, so we're going to put her on for Mead. I think Mead's out of position a little bit, actually, so we need to just um, put her back. And um, I don't know, let's, let's put Greenwood on as well um, for the left back as well. And um, maybe more could come on for Walsh as well, because she's 83 rated, um, slightly better, and obviously her stamina is a little bit better at, at this time of the game. Good tackle on Rappin though, but it just bounces straight back to him, that's so annoying. Uh-oh, uh-oh, do a good save by Bardsley, try to do skill on the ball, I don't know how many skills I can do. This is brilliant, this is brilliant play, oh, go on, oh, just wide, unlucky by Duggan, that was so close. What are they going to do on this one, are they going to try it? They have tried it, and... Just say that I was expecting it to go into the top corner. Imagine that. That would have been a hell of a goal from Rappin though. Well, that's a bit frustrating. It's going to extra time. I want to find something before extra time is finished. Because although it's the women's team, it's still England. And I don't really want to go to penalties with England. Up to Duggan. We're going to go for finesse. And that's beautiful. It just hits the post. Can we get something? No good tackle by the USA. That finesse shot was really good. We've got a corner for England. Can we find someone in the box, please? There is someone there. Oh, just unlucky. I'm looking for someone to get in the box, and it's just not happening at the moment. Oh, cut out by the USA. How frustrating is that? The slow movement of England is not what I want. Maybe I should have been the USA. They just seem to be a lot better. Crossed in. No, no. Oh, my God. Alex Morgan in the 120th minute has scored the vital goal. To put USA within literal seconds of winning the Women's World Cup. Oh my god. Like literally hit me on the break. And I was in ultra attacking. I couldn't do anything about it. And she heads it in. What a goal by Morgan. She's been really good in this game. And she just, um, she's just really good in the women's game as well. So obviously she's going to score a few goals against me. That's so unlucky. So unlucky, guys. Against, like, USA, I held my own for 120 minutes, but it just looks like the England are going to be eliminated here in the final, unless we can find something. I don't know why she did that. That was a very weird play. Come on, last attack. Here comes Duggan. Oh, the, the play is just so slow. Like, I couldn't get round the USA, and England crash out in the final and the United States pick up another World Cup win. So unfortunate, I just couldn't get going. Like, my attack wasn't as good as USA. USA had some really good players. And I just got unfortunate in that one. Let's see the USA lift at this title then. At least they got this in. That's the, that's what I mean. Like, if they had an actual tournament mode where you play different teams and you go through the group stage and stuff like that, at least it would have been a true representation of the Women's World Cup rather than just putting the final in the game. I feel that was quite, like, sloppy on EA's part. But here we go. USA win it. Uh, it's a little bit off center, the trophy. Like, she wasn't properly ho holding it for a second. But there we go. USA win. England, so unfortunate. I was trying my best to win it with England, but they just didn't have the attack. Let's do one more match with some of the newer teams. Okay, we got another final for you here to showcase. It's Cameroon versus Thailand. Two teams they added into the game when the Women's World Cup was sort of on. So we're going to see how well these two do. Um, I think someone told me in the past when I did this video about three years ago that uh, Thailand weren't really a good women's side and um, Cameroon as well, not very brilliant either. So these two teams are going to be very well matched in this final, kind of like what England and USA are, but just not as good. Come on, like just... Oh, that's a good play. That's a good play. And she dived the wrong way, the goalkeeper. And Cameroon score. That's our first goal of the game. I don't know why the goalkeeper did like a diving animation so early when I didn't even shoot. If we review this replay just for a second, you'll just see that um, I didn't even shoot when the goalkeeper dived. Look, she was just like, like kind of like spread herself so wide, like, like a starfish. Like, 
it wasn't a good save. Yeah, the save here that she did, it just wasn't good enough. And what a goal that was. I remember FIFA 19 was so good for this sort of stuff. Like flicking the ball and that. It was so exploitable back on when I used to play Ultimate Team on FIFA 19. It was so exploitable. If you had like Ronaldo or like Neymar and just kept doing those flicks, then it was so exploitable. I remember as well, there was the Tornado Cross as well. The El, El Tornado Cross, which was so overpowered. Like literally every time you did it, it would definitely fall to a striker in the box. I don't think Thailand are going to get many opportunities to score in this one. Thailand pressing, good attack. Oh, they scored, okay. Well, that's a goal for Thailand, and that shocked me. That is 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. We didn't deal with that at all, like, not very well. Like, we tried to clear it, and I think I got caught on something or whatever. The, the Cameroonian fans not happy about this one as Thailand scoop up that opportunity, the defensive error, and it's 1-1. One, one. Good play. Span there. Finesse shot. Good save by the Taiwanese keeper. Good save. No. Oh, my God. I put it on the floor. My goalkeeper just took an extra touch in Thailand score. That was such a poor goal to concede. I mean, like... I was just like, yeah, I'll do it, but she took an extra touch, and I was just like, I didn't realise Thailand would scoop that up as fast as um, what they would, and now it's 2-1. Shot, oh, the poor shot by the Cameroonian striker, what was that all about? You had him there, you had him, and I think she just, she just scuffed it or something, and I think that's it. Thailand have won the Women's World Cup thanks to a stupid mistake by my goalkeeper. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why... I did that. That was so stupid. Why did she take an extra touch as well? And that's Thailand's first... Is it their first ever World Cup win for the women's team? It must be, surely. I've never seen Thailand win the women's World Cup or the men's World Cup, obviously, before. So congratulations to them. So I really hope that you enjoyed this gameplay of the Women's World Cup DLC on FIFA 19. I just wanted to showcase it because, obviously, it existed. And um, EA... They did do a good job with some of it, but I feel like it should have been an actual tournament mode, much like the FIFA uh, 18 DLC we got for the World Cup. I feel like it should have been like that because it would have been a better representation of the Women's World Cup. But anyway, if you really like this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.